Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 1, Episode 10. Today we're going to be doing my review slash breakdown for the episode. It was absolutely crazy, and I really can't wait to talk about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode really felt like a finale. I mean, in some ways it kind of was a finale, and yes, we have five more episodes after this. We have 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We are still building up to something even greater than this. This was what we were told is going to happen. We we're going to have this Kryptonian war. And it basically was about to happen. But Superman, thanks to the help of his team and everyone around him, they were able to save the day, especially because of his mum. We're going to get into full details in just a moment. But yeah. It basically was a sort of finale, and it was a fantastic episode. I've loved every episode of Superman Low so far, and it's so great that everyone is involved in the story in some way, like Sarah's been let in now, you've got Lana meeting Superman for the first time, and then, you know, after the reveal, the huge reveal from last episode, we continue from that and we have the relationship building between the two brothers. So let's go ahead and get into this review. So yes, it was revealed at the end of last episode that Morgan Edge is in fact a Kryptonian who was sent to Earth. And so he's actually Kal-El's brother. So he doesn't have the same father, but he has the same mother. So his father is called Zeta Ro and his mum is Lara Lorvan. And his real Kryptonian name is Tal Ro. I'm just going to be referring to him as Morgan Edge throughout this video, just because he's been called Edge this whole season, and I believe they're still going to continue to call him that, even though his Kryptonian name has been revealed as Tal Ro. And obviously it's a huge thing that he is a Kryptonian, was not expected at all. But now you have the aftermath of his reveal, and he explains the reason for his arrival on Earth, and how he managed to escape in the pod, and so he was the first Kryptonian to land on Earth, even before Superman, before Supergirl, before everyone. He came to further their Kryptonian heritage, because his and Superman's mum already knew Krypton was dying, so he was sent to another planet, just so happened to be Earth, and obviously he got captured, he didn't know about Superman's existence, until he was able to break free, and now he's been planning for all these many years to bring back Krypton and he finally found the town, that being Smallville, that he could use the people because they are exposed to ex kryptonite in the mines and it's just in the atmosphere everywhere in Smallville so that he can have his new version of Krypton and he can use his army properly. So we're told of his origin, he actually landed in Britain, he landed in England instead of America like Superman. He's essentially an evil version of Superman, similar to the film Brightburn if you guys have seen it. He's basically the answer to the question of what happens if Superman was bad, like since the start, like since he arrived on Earth. Well, that's what he would have been. He would have been Morgan Edge, right? So that's what happened. He got captured and he was attacked for being an alien and they feared him. So they locked him away. And so for all those many years, he was locked up. And at some point when he grew up, he was able to break free, as you see in the episode. And so he reveals that now is their chance to have a family again to rebuild Krypton by taking over the people of Smallville, taking over the Earth, and making it new Krypton, essentially. And so let's move on from this. So Clark reveals to his family about Edge and what he's been told, and that Morgan Edge is his brother, and he's got an evil brother from Krypton. And so there's this big kind of reveal scene, and everyone is very shocked. And at this point, just after we have this, we go on to like the next day and you have Lois who is with Lana as they go and check in on Kyle after what happened last episode because he uses powers in front of Lois and she goes to check on them and evil Kyle attacks both of them, strangling Lana and Lois. It's at this point that Lois punches him in the face and I was like, yes, get in there Lois. She had a piece of kryptonite in her hand, that's how she was able to properly pull off the punch and it was just a great scene, so he gets taken in by the DOD, he's tortured at one point by General Lane using his kryptonite technology that he's got, and he's trying to get information about the scientist, and so looking for Edge's personal physician, who's also a doctor, and he's basically been administering and doing like all the health checks on all these individual people, and so they arrest him, and he's willing to help them, and he helps them to stop Edge, and so 
this is when you have Lana meeting Superman for the first time in real life. She's shocked, as I think we would all be, and so Lana volunteers at this point to put Superman's mum's consciousness inside of her mind, which makes Lana the hero of the week. Even Superman says that at some point, all because of her sacrifice, of her being willing to let Clark's mum actually go inside of her and take over her consciousness. She saved the day because the only person that can dissemble and put a stop to these Kryptonians is the person that made it and it is in fact Kal-El's mum. And just before this, Jonathan reveals everything that's happened to do with Sarah's dad to Sarah and at that point they also take Sarah to see her dad and she is shocked by what she hears and what she sees and she doesn't really know how to compute what is going on. But let's move on from this. So onwards, we have Superman who talks to his mum for the first time, also Lois gets a scene with her and these were a couple of really good just talking scenes and we got to know a bit more about like their dynamic and it's basically very, very gratifying for Superman to realise that he is doing what his mum intended to do, his mum wasn't some evil genius like Tal Ro aka Morgan Edge, but she intended to use the machines in order to extend their legacy and so that it could live on, however, it would be more like how Superman is doing it right now, rather than anything that would cause destruction or to kill an entire planet of people. That is the exact opposite of what she wants. Okay, now let's move on to the awesome stuff. Now, I must mention, this episode, I think, was one of the best shot episodes in the entire Arrowverse. I really do think it was the best they've ever done, and... Obviously, this is to do with the sunset and the way they use it, but the colours were so nice and the way that they put everything together, the composition of the cinematography was just fantastic. So you get these amazing sunset shots as the night begins and it also sets as they are mid-flight, which I thought was a really nice touch. So I thought it really was some of the best cinematography we've seen in Arrowverse and I have to commend them on that because I'm a cinematographer myself and I was in awe with this episode. But going back to what happened in this episode, so at this point you have Superman versus Morgan Edge aka Tal Ro, and they have their conversation in a pretty similar situation to what happened at the end of last episode. However now Superman is given the choice to choose one way or the other because time is ticking and they are enacting the plans right now so Edge is very much so on Edge and his final plans enact, although it turns out they aren't the final plans, but they're kind of like what he intended to be the final plans. So half of Smallville becomes infected, they all end up flying off into the sunset, and the whole town is like, what's going on? You have the kids who are looking up into the sky, like these guys are all flying off, and what in the hell is happening? And so they fly from where the sun is setting towards Superman, who leads them away, and brings them just exactly where he wants them to be and then he plays out the plan that they all discussed previously before this and so they all use all of their power by channeling their heat vision into Superman's mom's device and it puts a stop to the Kryptonian army and it's really cool to see them all in full action and all of them using their heat vision at one time. And so whilst this is happening, Kyle is obviously being called as well, but he can't escape from his Kryptonian cell, and he struggles to get out. However, at this point, everyone is turned back to normal, as Superman uses all of his powers to put a stop to Edge's plan. And so Kyle is turned back to normal, everyone else is, and Kyle specifically is reunited with Sarah. That was nice to see, because Sarah sees him in a different light now. She knows that he wasn't failing or, like, flaking away from her performance, but there were other things going on, and so there is no sign of Superman by the end of the episode, but he makes his way to the Fortress of Solitude with the device to lock it away, but at that point he faints, and that's because he's used all of his energy and he is out of commission, as General Lane said, probably for the next few days, but with him fainting, is Morgan Edge going to find that device? Well, it definitely infers at the end of the episode with the final scene, that him and Leslie could possibly be heading towards him. However, they are in a different terrain, being that they're in some unknown location and the camera pans up away from them 
and there is some sort of mountainscape which is obviously very important and I don't believe this is like where the mines were, I think this is somewhere completely different and Morgan Edge at this point says, it's just us for now, but all is not lost. So what does he have planned? He has even bigger plans for what is to come. He's obviously got a backup and that's what they are going off to do. And obviously Edge isn't going to be allowed back into town as Edge because, you know, his game is up but he's going to come back as Tal Ro as the Kryptonian version of himself and he is going to be coming back and he's not going to be messing around. So that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a fantastic episode. I really love Superman and Lois. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. It really helps if you do leave that like because I'll be making much more Superman and Lois videos if you guys keep on spreading the video around and like is the best way to do that. But also subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any daily videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest Flash review that came out last night to do with that episode. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.